Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. This is Dave. We are working on the layout again today. Always working. I got my little pan here for the um, uh, uh, plaster cloth, the Woodland Scenics plaster cloth. I'll be working on this today as well, starting to close this out uh, so it starts to look a little bit more like a mountain. Uh, but today, I can't believe it, but I finally found it. So I was at uh, Nicholas Smith Trains. I'm sure there's guys on here who are very familiar uh, with Nicholas Smith, but I ended up finding the scrapyard. So let me turn it around. So sorry for the uh, kind of uh, haphazard way I got this all set up, but this is the Lionel scrapyard. There was a couple different versions of it, the Southern Pacific, and I believe there was a New York Central, which would probably be more appropriate for my railroad, but I couldn't find it. I've been looking, can't really find it. So I found this sitting on the shelf at Nicholas Smith. So I was really excited when I was sitting there, just happened to walk by and sit, saw it like on the second or third shelf in a display case. So I was like, shoot, I'm buying it. It was only like 80 bucks. So we uh, figured out a, a way to rig it up and see if it's working. And it indeed worked. So I was pretty stoked, threw that in the bag and um, threw it in the cart, took it back, uh, paid for it. Got a bunch of other stuff too that we'll see uh, after Christmas. But, um, yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to get this mounted in, and then we'll move over and keep working on the um, the mountain. But uh, let's turn our camera around. So here's the area in the yard. You can kind of see if I back up a little bit, you can kind of see engine service facility. I always wanted to put one of these things here. Uh, it just would fit really good. It would you know catch the eye. So what I originally had, and you can see I just had a you know straight track in here and then the bumper track. What I'm gonna try to figure out is kind of how this fits and I've got like a little extra pieces in here. I just wanna figure out how it fits. I'll probably put like a small extension piece and then put it here, but let me work through that first and then uh, we'll get back to it and you'll see kind of what I came up with. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> this pretty quickly dictated where it was gonna land. So I'm gonna free up my one hand here. There's not enough room in here to get her to fit and I'm not, I can't chop it down just because of how the back side of this is so i think what i'm going to end up doing it actually fits perfectly right here and if i add this you know take the straight track put her back in where i had it it's pretty much perfectly aligns to where i need it now what i'm going to have to do is i will take the pins out on this guy pretty straightforward you just got to flip it over you see those tongs right there i got to get this pull these guys back enough for it to come out and then it just lifts right out it's either that or i put it back here behind the uh, shed and you know behind the shed kind of works too um but i'm gonna have to come up with something for the track back in here and i think what i would have to do is break the track up a little bit in there do like a split instead of like the straight tracks and then i'd have to have this kind of come in a little close like start a little closer maybe something like right there where the doors would open up right behind it i don't know if i want that to be like that i don't know if i like that or not <laughs> i'm not sure if i like that i think I'm, i like it just kind of sitting here on on, on the side of of the um, the yard so i think i'm gonna work with that i'm gonna take this track apart and then i will um get this guy mounted in and then what i'm gonna have to do is continue the board a little bit which really won't take, it'll take me like five seconds to do that. So I just got to cut up a couple pieces of wood and get it, uh, realign it. But um, I'll do that first so you guys can see what I'm doing. And we'll get this guy mounted up. Give me a few minutes. We'll be right back. See? All right. So, yeah, just like that, we're right back, right? Super easy. All the pins are out now. So what we'll end up doing is mounting this guy in. And this might be a little clunky for me to do this, but since I only got one hand here. But we'll take it, we'll push it back in. You heard the click, so that's good. Then what, what this will do is this will, sorry, got trying to do this with one hand and film at the same time, but this will click in like that. Boom, that's it. That's literally it. That's all I gotta do. And that's in. And I'll weather this a little bit so it looks a little better, but I'm thinking that's where I wanna put it. That still gives me room to put maintenance away cars there. I think I'll put like some, some uh, a barrier up, maybe a block like um, one of the bumpers that I got over there, you can see, see if I can have one. Maybe they have something that clicks in place here. Don't know, but we'll see if something clicks in place in this spot. But, you know, now it's just a matter of getting the board measured up. Give me a little bit of extra room there and then we'll get that attached. So keep hanging with me and um, I think we'll have this running pretty soon. Okay, so, you know, it's, it's for the most part, it's in. 
I've got this support. I just want to run another support, but it's actually quite stiff here, so I'm, I may not even need to do it. Uh, I ran the wiring underneath. It's just a little spot here, slid in, drilled my normal hole. I realize I don't have any of the suit, little suitcases, the blue suitcases left. So I'm going to show you how this thing works, just running it off of the positive and uh, negative track there, about 13 volts. So that should look good. Let's see if I can do this with my hands and not uh, screw this up. All right, there we go. Isn't that cool, John? Yeah. And there's the guys going, and there they are welding and everything. How cool is that, huh? Mm -hmm. Here, flick the lights, bud. Let me show them. How cool is that? That's super cool. Let me see if I can get down in here. Sorry, I'm working this with my hand. And these guys are going to town welding on it. Isn't that neat? I really like that one. All right, bud. Thanks, pal. All right. I'll turn that off for right now. But yeah, so one of my favorite accessories, easy to install. This gives us a little bit more area where I can do some scenery. And then what I'm going to end up doing is, you know, cleaning it up. I'm actually going to make a road through here. So I got to build up this section. There's going to be a road that runs along the side here. Um, that drives along here and then makes its way up into here. And I've got a shed that I'm putting here. It's actually that guy, Hobo, old Hobo station. That's going to go over here to like right, right in this area, kind of in, you know, so I got to build up this, the support there. But yeah, these are the blue little suitcases I ran out of. I thought I had a bunch of them, but apparently I'm all out. So pretty happy. That's really it for, for installing these guys. It's great, instant gratification. I've been looking for this thing for a while, so I'm pretty excited. Um, we're gonna start working on the um, mountain again. A lot of work to do, guys. A lot, a lot of work to do on this. Just takes um, takes a lot of time. And you know, we'll end up having the uh, farm up on the top. You can see, you know, along here, the farm will be. I got the, uh, the shed over here, or the uh, barn over there. I've got things kind of marked out how I want it. I'm gonna start putting all that stuff. I got a lot of really cool scenery things I'm hopefully not losing track of, but you can kind of get a feel for what I'm doing here. If I can get this out of the way for a second. The road's gonna, you know, comes down off the mountain. They're working on the road here to continue it off that direction. And then comes across the railroad tracks right here, comes down, runs along here, and off into this area here. So one of the things I'm really trying to do with this layout is make sure that everything is tied together so a road will bring it up to here come down drive over here if i got to get to over this section then there's going to be a road somewhere from over here that lets me get there even if it has to go like across the tracks into the wall you know simulate into the wall come around and come back down in here i want to make sure everything's at you know accessible by vehicle so it kind of looks like a uh, its own little world so um we'll call this part one of today's episode I don't want to make these too, too long. Uh, so, because I know that the um, mountain one is going to be a long, a uh, lot of work there. So we'll cut today, you know, for this one, we'll cut it here. I appreciate you guys watching. I'll get a few more things uh, ready to hook it up, kind of get the final installation of it. But uh, thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you next time. Take care and uh, happy holidays if I don't see you before then.